a little dash of spice can go a long way. <laughs> I'm not talking about food here. Take Lake Powell, for example. Now, let's say Powell is like a good steak. It doesn't really take much to make it great. But even a small amount of spice, something a little different, can enhance and alter your entire experience. Think of it this way. Take Lake Powell and sprinkle with green. Add some unique geological history. Then remove about 90% of the summer congestion on the water. Finally, relocate the reservoir about four hours closer to Salt Lake and Denver. Well, now that your mouth is watering, I'll let you in on a little secret. This boating recipe has already been mixed. It's Red Fleet Reservoir, outside of the small but versatile town of Vernal, Utah. A lot of people like to call Red Fleet the Little Lake Pal, and the reason is we got some big red rock cliffs. It's really nice. We have a channel that you can go up about a half a mile that it's all slow wake and it's great for kayaks and canoes and people that just want to get up and relax on the water. Red Fleet's got some good fishing. It's mainly largemouth bass, rainbow trout, and brown trout. It's, it's not a, too far of a drive where you can do it easily within a weekend and you're not driving six hours in the car and then you're trapped in a boat all day. It's not that far. It's about two and a half hours it took us to get here today and it was a nice drive. It was pretty. It was easy. It was just, it was a great day. For the Southwick family, that escape from everyday life is exactly what they were after. As a boating family, they spend as much time on the water each summer as possible. But even so, Red Fleet was a mystery. As Salt Lake residents, the Southwicks have any number of reservoirs to choose from. But after almost two decades of the same routine, things were getting a little stale. It was time to spice things up, and Uinta County had just the right balance of needed amenities while offering the solitude they search for. So instead of hitting the familiar haunts, Keith and Martha, along with the kids, headed east from Salt Lake on Highway 40 toward Vernal. Once there, it was a quick 10-minute drive on Highway 191, and they were in the water and leaving the rest of the world behind. When you're here, it's just like you're in a remote area. In fact, no cell service, so that's probably one of the better things. <laughs> you can kind of get away from it all here. The very nice camping sites, uh, day use, a lot of grassy areas. It's a very well maintained place. But I didn't know Vernal had actually two lakes up here. So yeah, I was surprised. A lot of people may not know much about Vernal. It's kind of just that little town halfway between Denver and Salt Lake on Highway 40 that you pass through and may not think too much about. The reality of Vernal goes far beyond a fueling station on your way to someplace bigger and better. Oh, bigger's easy to find, but when it comes to better, well, good luck with that. We love you in a county, and I think it's great living here. Most people are quite surprised, actually, by what we have here and the variety of activities and the variety of recreation that we have here for them. It's a beautiful city in the summertime. There's camping around here. People can come here easily. There's hiking, there's camping, there's outdoor recreation, there's ATV riding here, there's different trails. About 10 minutes from Red Fleet is Honda Hills Vernal, and it's an open riding area, and it goes back into the hills of Vernal on the BLM land, and it's anywhere from expert to beginner riding. Coming next year, Dinosaur National Monument will be rebuilt, so we're very excited and looking forward to that as well. Dinosaurs are the hallmark of Uinta County, so no lake would be complete without 200 million year old dino tracks. And the Red Fleet Shore offers just such an attraction. The day use fee at Red Fleet is only $7, camping is $13, and the reservoir staff even cleans every boat that leaves the water for quagga mussel decontamination. If variety is the spice of life, then trying a new boating destination would be like adding a new flavor to your palate. In the case of Red Fleet and the surrounding area, it would be more like a family feast, one the Southwicks have enjoyed. The scenery is great, the dinosaur tracks are really neat, the lake's beautiful, great temperature, it's a beautiful place. It's fun to see the kids get up for the first time, it's fun to see them do a new trick, it's fun to see them kind of break that fear level, and it's the best thing in the world for me. It's my escape. From Red Fleet Reservoir, I'm Shelley Osterloh.